Hey, I'm Monique Leahy for Dine.to. It is the day of Chef's Challenge for a Cure. We are here checking out the behind the scenes as the chefs are on stage behind me getting prepared for the big show. Michelle Racano. I'm with the fabulous Nadia G. How cute are you? I can't even get over how cute you are. Kind of in a boys club a little bit. Lynn Crawford's here, of course, but you know, you're this young, hot little chick here with all these boys. How, how does that feel? You know what, I feel confident because honestly, the boys get a lot of props. There's a lot of male chefs out there, but who's been cooking the family dinners for generations and generations? It's the ladies of the house. It's the day before and everything's being set up around here. Um, what's the energy like? Are you excited for tomorrow? Do you get nervous for these things? Oh, I always get nervous, no matter what I do. I'm, I'm nervous right now. No. I am. I get, ner I get nervous whenever I have to do anything in front of a camera or, over, or in front of a crowd. Always. And I've been doing this for a long time, but I always get a little bit nervous. But I can't tell at all. You look cool as a cucumber. Well, you're making me very comfortable. That's because you're good at what you do. Dine.to fans on the Facebook fan page, they decided on top three questions that they had to ask you chefs today. Okay. Uh, the first one is, what food item would you never want to cook? Liver, because I can't stand liver. You stumped me. The one food item I won't cook, I'll cook anything. I wouldn't cook any crazy wild game like, you know, like exotic game. I have a hard time with, uh, with the preserved egg. Sea urchin. It says 275 degrees. 275 degrees. Um, so really, I'll explain really quickly. Is that the uh, blood temperature that you're usually at? No. Ooh. When we opened the Garde Manger, our first restaurant, we got a free fryer from someone and it didn't have any numbers on the dial. So for like six and a half years, we were frying at a temperature that we didn't really know. When we opened our second restaurant, we bought a new fryer that had numbers. And then when we hit that sweet spot, we're like, oh man, we had no idea 275 degrees was the perfect temperature <laughs> to make homemade potato chips. What food is better than sex? None. <laughs> I agree with you. Give me yeah. five. <laughs> Definitely. A cheeseburger medium. Medium rare, I mean. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. I give up dinner for uh, some coochie coochie. <laughs> it's probably Nutella. <laughs> you know, Nutella is so good. Like a jar of Nutella and Melba toast, I mean, it's just delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. Oh my, the list goes on and on. <laughs> we got chocolate, we got confit canard, we got foie gras terrine, um, you know, habanero cheesecake. I could just keep going here. Better than sex? <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm Italian, you know? <laughs> Caramel, chips, BLT, lemon meringue pie, oysters, mm, sparkling water, and ice cream. All together? In bed. This is one of those, those questions from Don't the voters on Dine.to. If it was the last day on earth, what meal would you eat? Oof. That's really a tough one. The last meal would probably be lasagna, because I love lasagna. And then for dessert, it would probably be a burger. A good burger and lasagna, to me, comfort food, and even when it's bad, it's good. Nice lobe foie gras and some nice cheese. Oysters is a given, but uh, I'd probably, you know, we have a, a really local, fresh, uh, little shrimp from a little place called Matan. My nonna's penne al forno. My last meal is going to be a cheeseburger and an ice cream sundae. You have to go out to dinner looking for foie gras and caviar. We want comfort food. And I've, I've always been a cheeseburger guy, that's why I open my burger places. It's Are nice. you going to be here tomorrow? I, yeah, I actually will be here tomorrow, so I'm going to bump into you again. You're, yeah. so, you're, you're so charming. Oh my God. You really Thank are. Thank you, Bobby Flay. Yeah, you really are. You're, you're so sweet. It's very nice. Last year, they raised, or you guys raised, $1.1 $1 .1 million. So far, we've already cracked a million. So i got to beat this guy. Come on. Yeah. Keep dining bitchin', dine.to.